thank you. <laughs> now, million, millions of us might like to think of ourselves as a Lewis Hamilton or an Ayrton Senna, but the closest we've come to the thrill of Formula One is a plastic track and a toy racing car from Skelextric. Yes, it's been thrilling youngsters and a few dads for some <laughs> 50 years. Our correspondent, John Brain, has been to have a look. Plug in, line them up, press the accelerator. They're off at a scale speed. And 50 of years on, they're hour. still going. They've raced their way around millions of bedrooms worldwide, but they've never lost that annoying habit of coming off the track. Oh, right, on your marks, get set, go. Oh, my. There's always been something very British about it, and the basic format has barely changed. Oh. John Surtees raced the real thing, but the 1964 Formula One champion still gets a buzz from this. Okay. Through the ages, it's developed, obviously, and now you've got change of lines and everything else which you can do, and so. Uh, it's uh, that opportunity to go along and reenact what you're seeing on, on the weekends uh, on the TV screen. Well, in the last half century, more than 20 million of these cars have been sold and more than 5 million kilometres of track. But of course, the biggest con of all was that this was ever intended for kids. Yes, for 50 years, fathers have been buying these sets for their children. But of course, they've just needed to check their working properly first and that can take some time. John Brain, BBC News. Yes, Fantastic. Yeah, you've just revealed it wants to be on his Christmas <laughs> list. <laughs> I can just see that. Let's go to the weather very quickly. Dan Corbett is here. <laughs> Something will bear in mind. Yeah. Fine, George. Last night we were talking about uh, a cold night.